I'm headed out to go fly drones with my buddy Jared. He's a big YouTuber who lives close by me and has one of those new Phantom 4s. I've had a Phantom 2 since about when they came out, and it's been pretty fun to fly. I'm not as good as I wish I was. I don't know everything there is to know. I mean, matter of fact, last time I flew a drone, this happened. So I might not be the best flyer of drones, but this guy, Jared, <laughs> he's pretty good. I've flown once or twice, so... <laughs> He's going to teach us today how to uh, deliver something special. What are we doing? So I have a little gift for my wife, and we're going to use some of the drone's special features to uh, deliver it directly to our house. All right. Let's get started. Let's do it. So we've got the DJI Phantom 4, the remote, and then the little gift in the bag here. Um, the Phantom has a pretty unique system called Waypoints, where you can actually control a set pattern. They call it a mission where you tell it where to go, how high, how fast, and we're gonna set up those different waypoints to direct the drone where to go and drop off the gift. Um, and you do it all through the remote control on the iPad. It's really easy, you just hit a couple buttons as you fly the drone. Um, it's probably one of my favorite features on here. So right now we have the Phantom 4 turned on, and what's going on here? How do we set up those waypoints? So this is like the main screen that you see at the beginning when you're about to take off, and obviously we're not taking off yet, but if you, that button right there, that'll take you into different, the different fly modes that you can go through. We're gonna go to intelligent, and then waypoints. Now obviously we're not in the air just yet, so, but that's the path that you would take, and we're gonna take off right now so we can show you a little further. Just as simple as slide to take off. Now, again, to get back into the waypoints, we're going to hit the different fly modes, intelligent, waypoints. We have a, they call them missions, and so we're going to tap new mission, and it's going to give us a few different options here. We can see how many waypoints we have, the total distance of the mission, delete the waypoint, and record the waypoint. Now you see C2 and C1, those are actually going to be the buttons on the back here, C1 and C2. So it's really easy to fly and record at the same time. So I'm gonna hit my first button here. I just recorded that one waypoint there. I'm gonna fly forward at least 25 feet, and I'm gonna hit record again. And I can fly wherever I want now. As long as I fly 25 feet away from the previous one and I'm nine feet high in the air, it'll be able to record the waypoint. So Jared, is there a limit on how far away you can set these waypoints? So I believe the max path length is 5,000 meters. So that's, I think that's as long as your mission can go. And the biggest radius is 500 meters there. Um, that gives you your limits. And then again, um, you have to be 25 feet from the last point and at least three meters high above the ground. So once you are done with your mission set up, there's a few different options you have here. You can have it head to Consistent with recording, consistent with route, or free. Consistent with recording means that the the drone will fly in the same way that you had flown it, um, whether it's turned or anything else when you created the waypoint. Consistent with route means it's going to point to the direction of the next waypoint, and free means you can like uh, yaw the drone um, throughout the waypoints. When you're done with the mission, you can have two options. You can have it hover where it ends, or you can have it return to the starting point of the very beginning when you flew off, the, the home point. And you can also adjust your speed from uh, very low all the way up to five meters per second. Once you're all ready to go, hit apply, and then you're good to go. So right now it's uploading those waypoints that we just set to the drone. Is it actually starting the mission right it's now? Starting, it's going to the very first point, and once it gets there, it's going to start its mission. Cool. So now it's starting. So when you set the waypoint, it's setting how high the drone is and the location, like where it's facing and stuff. Exactly, yeah. Now, if I was uh, pitched or yawed a different way, um, I have it set to consistent with um, the recording. So it's doing the exact same thing that I did um, on, the, on the drone. If it was a diff different point, it would point to it as it's flying too. So there's different settings that you can have to make get different looks as you're flying the drone. Okay. And we're gonna make it go a little faster. 
All right, Jared, so now that we've learned what waypoints are, how to set them up, I think it's time that we actually set up this mission for the delivery. I think we should too. I think my wife is ready to receive this gift and I'm ready to give it to her. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so right now what we're hoping to accomplish is Jared wants to deliver this gift to his wife without actually having to fly the drone to her. So we're gonna use the automated system to take the gift, fly it up into the air, all while no one's controlling the drone, and then drop it off on his front doorstep where his wife will be waiting for it. We'll see what happens. So we're flying the actual route right now that the drone is gonna fly autonomously by itself. So we started way down there at the end of the street. We're gonna fly the drone around this roundabout and then up the street over there all the way to his front step. And the drone will follow each waypoint as we set it. So this is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. We're right by the townhomes that we live and we're trying to navigate through all of the trees and brushes and everything, make it look cool while staying safe. So we're down the driveway, but we've got to go that way. And it looks like we have 20 waypoints set up already. Yes, and we're at a distance of 242 meters, so we've got plenty of room to go. You said it went up to like 5,000 or something? 5,000 length, yeah. So the, the biggest thing is getting around that corner with the waypoints. So I'm gonna go down here a little further. Now you can see here, this waypoint is too close to the one I previously just did within five meters. So I've got to go this way a little bit. So it gives you a little warning. Waypoint altitude is below 32 feet. Maintain a steady speed and fly with caution. It's basically saying don't be an idiot. So Jared's lining up those final waypoints, making sure that the camera is positioned right towards the front door. That way when he delivers the package, the camera will be focused on his wife and positioning it so the package will be ready for her to grab. All right, Jared, think it's gonna make it? I'm hoping it does. We've set it up to do so. So I think with our powers combined, we can make it work, man. All right. So we've learned how to set waypoints. Yep. We've actually set the waypoints for this specific mission. Check. What are the chances of this actually succeeding? You know, I want to say that we've got at least an 85% chance of this going through exactly how I want it to. I don't doubt the drone's going to go through and, and pick the right way and everything. I think the drone's going to make it just fine. Where I have a little hesitation is in the actual package. If that's going to hit like a tree or something, I don't know. But I'm so excited to see. I'm very anxious and it's. I think it's going to do well, but there's a small chance of something terrible happening. <laughs> Hopefully we don't hit any kids or trees. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so if you want to watch the actual drone delivery for the very first time that we've ever attempted this, go ahead and click this link in the center. I'll also put a card in the top corner and in the video description if you're on mobile. You can go find it there. Looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Tom, for watching. Hope to see you around.